More than 30 senior Republicans have withdrawn support from Donald Trump after his obscene comments about making sexual advances on women were aired across America. But Trump, seen here outside Trump Towers in New York, remains defiant just hours before Sunday night's second presidential debate. Senator John McCain, who in 2008 was the Republican presidential nominee, is perhaps the most prominent defector. There are no excuses for Donald Trump's offensive behavior. Cindy and I will not vote for him, he tweeted. But there's also former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice, who wrote on Facebook, enough, Donald Trump should not be president. House of Representatives Speaker Paul Ryan was booed at a Wisconsin rally where he spoke of a troubling situation and an elephant in the room, adding that he's sickened by Trump's comments. Trump was due to attend the rally, but Ryan said he was no longer welcome. Another former Republican presidential candidate, Mitt Romney, has also defected. Religion, and, uh, and I was offended and, and uh, dismayed by... Uh by what, what was said and, and done by Mr. Trump. Um, I think it's degrading to our women, to our daughters, our granddaughters, uh, uh, to future generations. Now the question's being asked, can the Republican Party somehow dump Trump? Reports suggest party leaders discussed exactly that on Friday night. According to the party's national committee, it's only authorized to make a change by reason of death, declination or otherwise of the Republican candidate.